Hello friends, welcome to Insights Again Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Gaganyaan mission. Okay, first we will try to understand video components. After that, I will explain about the rest of the concepts. In the video components, we are going to discuss about first why it is in news. Okay, it is in news because our honorable prime minister announced four astronaut names. Okay, who are supposed to go in Gaganyaan mission. Then about Gaganyaan mission, we will try to understand. Then Prime Minister Narendra Modi announces these four astronauts and their names we will discuss. Then we will discuss about the current status of Gaganyaan. That means where they are getting trained and which country is helping to them and future ISRO goals. Prime Minister also mentioned about some of future ISRO goals as well. So we will discuss about those at the end of this video. First we will see details regarding the Gaganyaan mission. First you have to understand Prime Minister announced four astronaut names. Okay who are going to be a part of Gaganyaan mission. They are going, they are going to be group captain, you know, like uh, Prashant Nair and group captain Azit Krishnan, group captain Angad Pratap and wing commander Shubhanshu Shukla. These are the four names. Actually, only three members are going to be part of this Gaganyaan mission. Of course, four names announced out of them. Finally, only three members are going to be there. And uh, as a part of Gaganyaan mission, we are sending astronauts into the space. Remember, not onto the surface of moon. It is only into the space that you have to remember. And one more thing, actually America, I mean NASA, previously they sent human onto the moon surface as a part of Neil Armstrong, you know that, as a part of Apollo program. Now as well, they are contemplating, they are thinking to sending astronauts onto the surface of the moon. What is the name of that project? If you know, put your answer in the comment section. What is the name of the NASA's mission of sending astronaut onto the surface of moon? So here, first you have to know about certain details. Those are, first of all, which launching vehicle we are using in this mission? You have to know first launching vehicle. Okay. You know, we are having two types of launching vehicles, PSLV and GSLV. PSLV for lighter weight satellites and GSLV for heavy weight satellites. The matter of sending astronauts into the space, obviously, it is some, it consists of obviously heavy payload. That is the reason. In this particular mission, we are going to use GSLV Mark III. GSLV Mark III. This one we are going to use. And this particular GSLV Mark III, okay. So, this one we will modify, we will modify, that means modified version of GSLV Mark III will be used modify according to human needs according to human needs actually the little bit advanced version of GSLV Mark 3 is launch vehicle Mark LVM okay LVM is the advanced version of GSLV Mark 3 now you know that through which rocket it is going to be possible so this is a launch vehicle then to the launch vehicle there will be there will be one, you know, like uh, one equipment will be attached. That is going to be the, that is going to be the, so module, module, okay. So here we have, we have orbiter, orbiter module, orbiter module will be there, okay. Orbital module that will be in this space. This orbital module consists of again two different, two different modules, crew module, crew module and you know like service module service module first you have to understand what is this orbital module orbital module is the one okay orbital module is the one which will be attached to this gslv after going into the space after launching in the space this obviously this you know like gslv it fall into the ocean and this orbital module it will be in the space this orbital module which consists of which again consists of service module and crew module. In the crew module, uh, crew members are going to be there. That means these three astronauts are going to be there. And service module, it will provide the onboard servicing. Okay. That means the orbit module, I mean that crew module as well as service module, it is going to be, I mean, part of the orbit module. And this will be in the low earth orbit. Okay. After spending that uh, designated number of days, while while coming into the earth surface, while coming into the earth atmosphere, this uh, orbital module, it will be again divided, crew module and the service module. Service module straight away falls into the ocean, crew module, from the crew module, after the aero braking, 
of the aero braking from crew module through parachute deployments astronauts will be landed onto the ocean as well as crew module also will be landed onto the ocean upright position so that can be corrected as well so this is the entire mission is all about sending of astronauts into the space in space we are sending astronauts onto the low earth orbit you know that based on the height we are having different types of orbitals low earth orbit medium earth orbit and the geostationary orbit actually in the low earth orbit even you can see this international space station as well okay this is about various operation and in this gaganyaan obviously this is going to be in different different phases in the initial phase first we will test the this entire orbital module whether this orbital module is successfully landing on the ocean or not then we will test the vehicle okay whichever the vehicle we are using here we are using the launch vehicle mark 3 that vehicle will be tested then that you know like that this this you know like this test once this test is done once this gsl is launched if we if you would like to about if you would like to stop in the middle of that launch okay if you would like to uh, you know like stop this mission in the middle of the launch then how it is going to be react then how our this astronauts will be landed onto the earth surface that will be tested through pad about test then unmanned flight okay unmanned flight will be tested then finally this manned flight so these various phases are going to be there before the final launch of the astronauts into the space i hope you understood about all the basics regarding the gaganyaan of course tell me students so which country is helping to us mainly in training of astronauts in this particular project okay which country is helping to india now let's see context honorable prime minister announced names of four astronauts who are going to be part of isro's gaganyaan and this is mainly directed towards low earth orbit and the crew consists of three members only and this is going to be the first human space flight from the earth surface and these crew members they are going to be spent around 3 days 3 days at the heights of 400 km from the earth surface i mean from the earth outer layer and the mission also consists of bringing them back safely by using the deployment of parachute after they enter into the earth surface and it is a part of this gaganyaan mission is a part of indian human space flight program this indian human space flight program is a umbrella program under this gaganyaan is one of the program they are going to spend where lower orbit we already covered launch vehicle we are using here is a launch vehicle mark 3 we already discussed that it is a modified version of the gslv mark 3 in this vehicle uh, various you know like different types of uh, fuels will be used that is solid stage fuel liquid stage and cryogenic stage fuels will be used and these are the names of the astronauts who are going to be part of this gaganyaan next so current status of gaganyaan both manned and unmanned mission we are going to be tested at the moment and this gaganyaan astronauts they are getting trained they are getting trained with the help of russia in this liquid stage we are going to use the vikas engine vikas engine will be used at liquid stage okay rest of the things we already covered then as yes, regarding the training we are taking russia's assistance some russia's yuri gagarin cosmonaut training center they are assisting to our isros isros astronauts this training is a part of the isros glavkos glavkosmos actually it is a the mou between the isro as well as glav cosmos in russia they use the word cosmos cosmonaut a lot rather than astronaut after that training in russia after they done in the training in russia they will go further training in bangalore and one of the astronaut will be trained under the supervision of nasa as well and the prime minister rolled out set i mean announced certain isro goals isro goal of having own space station by 2035 indian indians okay going to be on moon surface by 2040 venus orbiter mission shukrayan and mars lander mission you already know that we are already you know like successfully tested mars orbital mission that is this mangalyaan mission now our next target will be the landing on the surface of the mars these are the isro's future targets next yesterday's video question pick out the mismatched pair in the following okay sperm testes okay obviously sperms will be produced in testes egg will be produced in ovaries pollen will be produced in anther ovule is not related to somatic cell 
somatic cell generally related to the vegetative part and ovule is the reproductive part so mismatched pair is d obviously okay now let's see today's question today's video question is about which of the following is the intention behind launching netra by isro okay netra what is the main so intention behind launching of netra read these four statement and pick the right one main question what is the significance of gaganyaan mission to india discuss various challenges related to this mission okay some students are asking the main question explanation as well of course we can do once this prelims examination is done i will try to explain main question on every day basis as well so that that can be helpful to you so meanwhile if you would like to give any suggestions as well please put your suggestions in the comment section i will i feel free to so include those suggestions in our upcoming videos as we reach to the end of this video in this particular video we mainly discussed about our prime minister announcement regarding four astronauts names related to gaganyaan then we discussed about this various phases of this mission and the crew mo the module which includes uh, orbital module and service module and how it is going to be deployed onto the earth surface and various test tests tests we have to do in this mission that as well we discussed and uh, the collaboration from various countries that also covered so this is about detailed analysis regarding the gaganyaan mission i hope this video is useful to you thanks for watching our channel have a great day jai hind